Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I've just got a quick update for you. Apple tweaked its iPad lineup just recently, bringing back the fourth generation iPad with Retina display in place of the elderly iPad 2. Available with only 16GB of storage, the Comeback tablet is listed on Apple's US website with either Wi Fi only for $399 or Wi Fi and cellular for $529. Consumers can choose between models from ATT, Sprint, T Mobile, and Verizon. Now, this makes your buying decision fairly straightforward. $300 for the older, smaller iPad mini, $400 for the nicer Retina mini or the older Retina iPad, or $500 for the iPad Air. Then add $100 to double storage and $130 to add cellular data. Now, the Retina iPad is £329 in the UK, $529 in Australia, and €389 Euros in Europe for the Wi-Fi only model. Now, a cheaper version of the colorful plastic iPhone 5C also went on sale, but since that's not really related to the topic of this video, I'm not going to talk about that too long. Anyways, the iPad 2 is now gone for good, so Apple's iPad 2 has had a fairly long run, about three years, from 2011 to 2014, and, you know, it is getting time to, for Apple to replace that iPad, so, you know, uh, for the last year, it really hasn't been a good decision to actually buy the iPad 2, despite its cheap price, just because it's just going to get outdated and outdated so so quickly and you know the iPad 4 now at least that'll stay around for at least a little bit longer so let me know what you think of Apple's decision to take away the iPad 2 in the comments below please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye